ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಟೆಂತ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕಾಸ್ಮಾಲಜಿ ಸಿ 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 ಟ್ರಿಬಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಗಾಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಈಸ್ ಮರ್ಸಿಫುಲ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಫಾರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ರೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಟಫ್ ಲಿಂಗ ದೇಹ the question arises whether it is sufficient for god to create the universe once one stroke only so that all the souls can get rid of their linga deha the shell of ignorance causation body afterwards he need not create the universe the brahman at all he can enjoy because all the souls might have liberated exhausted no the souls are infinite infinite world itself is something totally special infinite souls with their infinite linga deha cannot be brought to a single universe for liberation it requires infinite creation of universes so it is a continuous process forever it is it is continuing now and it was continuing also past the creation maintenance and annihilation the destruction of the universe is a continuous process infinite jivas already got rid of their linga deha in innumerable number of universes of the past now many souls are there to be related to be liberated and like that in future as well many souls yet to come this is called a cyclic process the process is a continuous one forever it is like infinite waves coming on the sea shore one after another one after another so it is called in the science we can say as a sine wave a sine wave sine wave i will discuss i will show it creation destruction creation and destruction creation destruction a sine wave or a sinusoidal way is a mathematical curve that describes a smooth periodical oscillation sine wave is a continuous wave it has got two main points which are required for our understanding purpose it is a period one point to next matching point period i will i will show it and amplitude highest from the center line to the peak or the or to the tough tough that is called as amplitude here we are taking only whatever required for our sequence concern we will show the picture on the board we will compare that sine waves for the universe birth and death see we will take now this is a sine wave it is a continuous one it never ends even like this up and down up and down if you take that what is amplitude amplitude means if you take middle middle of the wave the from this middle point to height maximum height maximum height it is amplitude it is maximum height and also this river side it is maximum deep this is called as amplitude and this is a period 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 for this half and another half period so if we go like this it is one one wave further we will go this cyclic process of universe here one we will take this as this one wave as the time span for one brahmanda srushti and the same that destruction this from here it starts and it comes here to the point this is the srushti this is a srushti and next again this is the pralaya that annihilation and again one more wave again srushti come it is cyclic srushti starts pralaya is there again srushti starts again srushti starts pralaya is there srushti 
pralaya srushti pralaya like this it is a cyclic now if we take the brahma in charge of one brahmanda this present brahmanda if we take brahma is born at zero and it will be going on like this it reaches 50 50 years 50 years and it comes back 100 years that end of brahma so here it is a total 100 years of that Srushti period and again another 100 years of that Brahma's period is Laya. Annihilation, destruction, no word will be there. So it repeats, it repeats. So for Brahma, 50 years it goes to the peak and another 50 years it comes to end. So it is 100 years, 100 years, 100, 100 years. This is one Brahmanda in one cycle, one Brahmanda in one cycle. This is a period I have already inform the this is a cyclic process sine wave the cyclic process of universe creation and annihilation the destruction theory it is proposed by karnataka haridasaru it was included in our bhagavata and other texts it was compelled briefed and given to the people by our Haridasaru. The, a theory, this theory of, was approved, appreciated by scientists as well. A theoretical physicist, cosmology expert Roger Penrose, Roger Penrose proposed a theory of cosmic, cosmology. It is called as CCC, triple C. Confirmed cyclic cosmology. It says that universe goes through infinite cycles. Infinite cycles. Universe goes through infinite cycles. That our universe is just one in an infinite series. One. This is a one. Our universe is one. Like this, many universes, many universes have gone in the past. And our present universe is like this. In future also, many universes will yet to come. It is a just one and in an infinite series. Each cycle creation of universe begins with a big bang. He said that big bang theory. We will discuss it later on. Thus, making the start of a new aeon, Yuga, Brahma's birth birth of Brahma. He says that evidence of creation of created earlier universe can be found now in the current black holes. Black holes are existing in the universe. What are all the black holes and all in subsequent uh, subsequent uh, you will subsequently we will discuss it. In next sessions we will discuss it. It is called also Hakin points. Black holes are kind as Hakin points. For such revelations of the black holes and this CCC theory, he was awarded with the Nobel Prize just in 2020. He is contemporary of Stephen Hawking, who just died during 2019. Otherwise, he would have also got this Nobel Prize. Roger Penrose created a history. We are proud of him. Jai Bhagavatam. Bhagavata proposed this long back. We are, we are following this. Our Indian culture is following this cyclic theory of universe. The cosmology, what Bhagavatam says, we should know. The cosmology of Bhagavatam is fully scientific. It is fully scientific. Our salutation to Sri Vedavyasaru and our salutation to Vijayadasaru he providing a good guide in Canada. He provided a very good guide in Canada. He explained very wonderfully regarding this cyclic process of the universe. Every event of, events of creation, maintenance, dissolution of the universe is explained in Canada. We will try to take some points whatever required for our this our sessions in during next classes and whenever required we will take it next we have to go for final hours of pralaya in the next class we will take at the end of pralaya what 
what will take place any something will be there that means pralaya is ending then new cycle has to start creation of st- new creation of cycle starts new cycle new universe creation starts so what happens at that time what will be there that we will discuss next time till that time namaskara hare krishna hare sanyasa